everybody and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 and today we are continuing on our Beast Men campaign with Torox the Brass Bull and uh, last time we left off we uh, had some good times uh, we're putting the hurt on the uh, the lizard men over here uh, we're gonna move on uh, just uh, just start it off man take take up take it take these boys out man wipe out poor Reaver uh, loot and raise. Just like, come on, man. Get out of here. No match. And uh, move you on towards uh, Skeggy. You can move. You're in raiding stance. Perfect. Yeah, they, they don't have anything. Lizardmen getting completely overwhelmed. Uh, they, they wish they could stop us. But they can't. Because they're, they're just a bunch of lizards. I mean, what are they going to do? Just, you know, lizard at us? I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, things are going good. We're like balling out of control, man. We we have a really good Doom stack going. Torox has begun his invasion of Ulthwan. Uh, we're destroying the uh, High Elves, basically. We got Malgor, the Dark Omen, up over here. And it looks like Tyrion and Alariel are going after our, uh, our place up here at the Shrine of Cain, which is not cool, dude. That is really not cool, my man. Um, but you know what? Hey... They can just go ahead and do that because that buys us time to uh, move towards uh, their other settlements. And just to allow us to keep on uh, pushing and making uh, uh, making gains into their territory. So, you know, if they want to waste their time, we already have a new settlement here in the Gian Vale. Uh, to recruit new lords and stuff from. So, like, you know doesn't even matter to me anymore doesn't even matter we can actually push up and take the unicorn gate too Torox is the sword of Cain he's basically unstoppable at this point loot and raise wonderful uh, we need to get our momentum going here um, and yeah just like raid and get ready perfect uh, research is available beautiful uh, extra Winds of Magic Power Reserve is always good. Unicorn Gate down. We're just going to keep on pushing. Uh, pushing down towards uh, Lothurn. Uh, take out this, the, the, the seat of power from the High Elves right from under them. While they waste their time up here at the Shrine of Cain. Uh, two armies can probably take it, honestly. There is a good garrison here. Uh, Larry won't be able to take it by herself, but with Tyrion's backup... Uh, probably, because Tyrion's a bit of a badass himself, you know? Uh, yeah, those armies are good. Okay, perfect. Alright, wonderful. I hope you're all having a, uh, a wonderful start to your week. Uh, these guys are moving. He doesn't have support. So you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and fight this. Uh, just to see. Just to see what happens, man. Because he doesn't have any allies. Alright, and here we are at the Shrine of Cain. It's a very, very broken and uh, rugged... Uh, area. I like that about it. Means that their archers are going to be just that much uh, that much worse. Just that much worse at shooting at us. Okay. You guys, oh my god, look at all these centigors of throwing axes that we got. Uh, you know what? All of you guys can just be in the same control group. I don't really care. Uh, let's group you guys up. We got Gore. We got Best of Gore. And, and uh, the Coup de Gras. We got some Minotaurs. Minotaurs, always super good. Uh, really, really fun unit. Can't go wrong with Minotaurs, man. Centigars with throwing axes. And then these guys over there. Perfect. Let's see. Where's Tyrion? So they, they're, ma they're making their stand up over there. That is fine by me. Go ahead and push around. Oh, they're going to have a little bit of a awkward position here. They're putting themselves right with the, uh, the, like, cliff to their back. Like, no room to retreat or anything. Heralds of the Wind, let's see if we can close in on them. They're pretty quick, so I don't know if we'll be able to. Might be a little bit tough. Okay, I did not want, like, all three three of you guys to go that way. You know what? Have one of them engage in melee. And the, the rest of us, like, go around and just, uh, just throw axes at them. 
Okay, throw your axes, boys. Okay, yeah, you guys are getting messed up. Not where you want to be. Move you guys up. Yeah, the Herald's the one too fast for us. Don't know why you guys are closing into melee. I just told you to throw axes at them. You know what? Just just charge in. Pull surround off. Should be able to get rid of them without too much trouble. Okay, you guys just, like, bide your time over here. You really don't want to be fighting phoenixes. Um, nothing on my in my army really wants to be fighting phoenixes. Now that I think about it. Okay, the Minotaurs, they're the heart of my army. They're the important ones. They're the important things here. Okay, good. Uh, Silver Helms, they're dead. Get the hell out of here. Don't let that Phoenix catch you. Centagors of Throwing Axe is actually pretty good. Okay, you guys can come in for the nice side charge. Okay, you guys can just, like, uh, get some nice focus fire going. Perfect. The Shadow Warriors didn't stand a chance. Nice charge coming in. Got the chariots, the Razor Gore Herd, everything moving in. We got that damn Phoenix on us, though, which is really annoying. If you could f uh, fire at the those other Sea Guard, that would be good. Now I don't know if we're gonna win this. I I don't come. I haven't come in with like any expectations like at all, basically. Um, just other than to, you know kill stuff, man. That's all I want, man. That's all I want. Just to kill stuff. You guys can actually get, like, a nice little rear charge going. That would be good. Uh, bring you guys in over here. Please do not let yourself get caught up by the Phoenix. Just ignore the Phoenix. For as long as possible. Okay, this flank is crumbling. That's wonderful. Okay, Gore, you can come in over and uh, tie these guys down. It's got, a, like, a trade going back and forth. Axes and arrows being thrown. Lothan well, Seaguard will win that, for sure. But uh, we're, we're, we're distracting them and making them waste their ammo on my Centagores. And not firing at my Minotaurs. Which uh, is, a, is a trade I'm willing to make. You know, my Minotaurs are, are really... Uh, any hope that I have of winning this battle. Ah, uh, there we go. Now those other sea guards are starting to really feel the pain. Yeah, there we go. They're starting to rout now. Uh, just getting charged from, like, every direction. Uh, now, I don't know how the hell we're going to deal with those phoenixes, like, even remotely. But you know what? I'm not really worrying about that. I'm just hoping, uh, I'm just hoping army losses take care takes care of them. I mean, I guess the centagores of throwing axes have pretty good single target burst damage. Okay, uh, okay, all these guys just, uh, mass routed. Thanks to the phoenixes and their terror. Which is not great. Uh, Tyrion, uh, could you not, though? I would appreciate it if you, like, didn't, though. Okay, get rid of the rest of those Lothan Sea Guard. I'll bring up the rest of these guys. Get, the, get rid of those guys. Uh, Tyrion, did you not hear me when I said I wish you would, like, not do that? Because it looks to me that you're still doing that thing that I told you that I don't want you to do. I guess you can't really hit him all that well. Uh, let's see if you can shoot at Tyrion. Maybe. Uh, bring these guys back into the fray. We got some rallying units. Uh, yeah, let's just see, like, how much, like, whittle damage we can get going on Tyrion. So, I mean, we don't really have anything, any other ways to deal with him. Okay, all these guys are routing. Bam, there's army losses. Wonderful. That's a nice little way to get the blood flowing. Beautiful. Get out of here, elves. Can't dislodge us that easily. Alright, bam. Tyrion, get wrecked. Dude, like, what, what, are, you, what are you thinking? What do you thinking was going to happen? First mistake, not bringing in allies. And Alarial, she wants to do the same thing. And you know what? The same thing is going to happen to her. Ah, 
well, you know, may have gotten a little bit over brazen there. Uh, tried to rush in and murder all the sisters, and I did, but uh, uh, Moon Dragon's hurt, man. And Delarial is uh, is a pretty good spellcaster. Never forget that, kids. Um, got a little bit. I got a little bit aggressive. I, I will. I will admit. Um, and what she said. Okay, good. She she did end up taking it. I was about to say if she just sacked it, like she's dumb, because I did end up murdering her uh, her Moon Dragon with my Centigors right at the end. So like, uh, she would be really in a bad spot if she didn't uh, take me out. But, uh, you know, the AI is not, it's not completely, um, it's not completely hopeless. All right, but yeah, we're, we're moving up. Skeggy, you're done, so. Man, he didn't, he didn't even have any faith in them to win that fight. Oh, my other army is, uh, just out of range. Uh, we'll move up. There we go. Skeggy. Yeah, see ya. Lizardman, you're done. You're done, so. Get out of here. Loot and raise. Take all of their monuments. Kill him. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay, Wargor, uh, you... Uh, yeah, just upgrade your HP. Why not? Make you just, like, super annoying to kill. Uh, our, our Doom Bowl Lord. Go ahead and upgrade his melee defense, because just why not? Uh, the, yeah, the Lizardmen are just very dispersed. Very much, uh... Basically, like, dead at this point. They got, like, a couple settlement. They, they just got, like, a handful of settlements left for them to, uh, to hold on to. But, you know, it's not going to save them. Uh, and nothing can save the elves either. I'm just going to hit up all these gates on my way down just so I can open up as many ways possible for invasions in case I bring another army over. Well, it looks like Eltharion, the Grim himself, is coming over. Might be trying to save Tora Chair. Um... I mean, he won't be able to, but, I mean, I, can, I commend the effort. Give me another Death Vulture's Tribe, just because I, I really love the manis with Ogre Pistols. I should probably get some of them, because uh, we're starting to build up quite a bit of money. And uh, we should be able to take Torchray. Uh, will the auto-resolve like me? Yeah, it seems to. A little bit, a little bit, Purik. Well, so we'll take the, the Replenishment and go into Hide. Go into Hide Stance. Perfect. Bam, Torchray. You're done, so. Got Thelry on the Grim. We got we got Elven Batman. We don't want that. Uh, if we could avoid fighting him, that would be preferred. Because I'd really rather not have to. But you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and give um, give some ogres in this army. Uh, we we have a bunch of money stored up, so uh, we can we can afford some. Like some bull ogres, and um, I want a man eater with ogre pistols. Oh, we combine some of our chaos spawn together. There we go. Wonderful. Test some of those guys out in battle. We are losing some money, but hey, you know, we generate so much. Does it really even matter? Um, we can probably perform the ritual here. We've gotten rid of all of these. Uh, all the settlements in this area, so bam. Form the ritual. Some more marks of ruination. We hit the next tier, actually. We're getting close, so we're only one tier away. Uh, so we're at 320, and we need 500. So, I mean, we're getting there. Uh, we won't be long until we unlock the final battle, man. That's going to be exciting. Finally put the uh, the campaign to rest here. Hey, look, uh, Rakarth himself is... Um, coming out to, to meet us. Ooh. Not not what I wanted. Definitely not what I wanted. Okay, he can't quite reach us. That's good. Bye, Sigmar. Well, Sigmar can't save you now, man. Better start worshipping the Chaos Gods. Because uh, you're about to get wrecked, man. Okay, yeah, and we'll just like keep on pushing south into the into these uh, lizardman territories. Yeah, sure, consume order. Why not? Why not, man? Spam more spells. Always fun. Spells are good. Let's hope no one finds Malagor here as he's trying to nerd heal up. Until he's uh, ready to strike. Once we're like fully healed, then we can probably hit up Altharion. But uh, not while we're wounded. 
Anyways, as before I was interrupted, I mean, I even done my opening like spiel bit. Um, I hope you're all having a uh, good uh, beginning of your weekend or week rather. Um, mine has been quite bad. Uh, these videos, the first two are probably going to be uh, on Monday and Tuesday, a little bit uh, late, uh, later than usual. I talked about in my Elizabeth campaign, but, uh, you know, got a little bit under the weather, uh, if you will, uh, dealing with migraines and stuff. And uh, if that wasn't bad enough, also had the misfortune of um, having my power go out as well, because the infrastructure here in... Uh, in Arizona, if you live in, in my particular area, is garbage. And so whenever a storm stronger than a light drizzle comes, everything falls apart. Which is, um, not ideal. You know, it's not really what you want to see. And so, you know, even when, even when I'm like, okay, I finally feel better, let's... Oh, I wanted to do the uh, thing. Oh, that's okay. Can I go back and do it? Maybe. Um, so even when I'm like, okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's get recording. Power's like, yeah, no. You get to, uh, instead, uh, stare into, into a black screen. Because, fuck you, why not? Which I'm just like, okay, dude. Not very cool. It's just not very cool at all. Uh, basically, fuck the infrastructure here in, uh, in northern Arizona. It's garbage. So, uh, yeah, just, a. Uh, Little forewarning. Okay, uh, the, these Empire folks, they, they think they can they think they can take us on. Let's show them how wrong they are. Alright, and here we go. Filthy Sigmarites. Praying to pray, praying to Sigma to save them. He, he can't hear them now. He cannot hear them now. Okay. Uh Gore up in front. They're they're the vanguard. Just gonna get there, get stuck in. Uh, then we have our best of Gore and Gore Horde with shields. Uh, then we'll have, oh, whoops. Then we'll have our monster core. This is the damaging bit of our army. Our archers and the, then the doggos. Then actually, I have my Wargore be his, like, own control group. Because honestly, that's, that's all he needs to be. Uh, he can do stuff on his own, basically. I have him out on that left flank, and he's just gonna, you know, wreck havoc. And have the, have the doggos on that flank. Okay, uh, move up. Wargor, just get stuck in, man. I don't know if they've they've patched in or they've uh, uh, fixed Wargors yet and and uh, chariots, but uh, I don't think so. I don't think they have. CA is notoriously slow at uh, applying updates for uh, for new DLCs, so I would not imagine so. Plus. You don't you don't need broken uh, uh, charging physics to um, rip apart archers with a with a chariot hero. You can just do that for free. Okay, move you guys up. Let's go. Yeah, he's tearing those guys apart. Wonderful. Uh, poison doggos getting in on top of those archers. Okay, wonderful. Get a giant in over here. Pull with some chaos spawn. I get some chaos spawn up up into here. Get some best of gore going. Get some regular gore going. Have you guys firing in over there. These guys firing in over here. Uh, have these doggos get out of there because that's not really where they want to be. Oh, you're also on a chariot, so like you can actually get in there and get stuck in. Start cycle charging some of these guys. Summon in your Cygor summon. Because that's what you do best. Okay, bam. Cygor, he's in. He's good to go. Uh, chase down those archers, please. Turn around and start firing in. Uh, Chaos spawn, get in there. And how about this, this, group, this group of boys? Giant, get in there. Have fun. Point blank volleys from a Cygor. I mean, just to, just imagine getting hit by that, man. That that's not how you wanna. It's not how you wanna spend a day, man. Or I guess you won't you won't be spending a day like that. You'll just be dead. So like, that's not that's not the way you wanna go out. 
Okay. Uh, toss a boulder a little a little further up. Uh, push up these archers. Uh, Roderick Le Angle. Uh, he's, he's getting wrecked. Pop down another Vile Entropy. Get rid of all their ammo. They don't need ammo. Not anymore. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we're just rolling over them now. They're in their death throes at this point. Some point and blink archer volleys into these spearmen. Alright, get another, you know, their rock toss, please. Wow. Big miss. Just unbelievably big miss. Like, went up and hit the unit above it. Like, damn, bro. How do you miss that bad? You know? At the free throw line, and then you just... You just miss. You just you just drop the ball, just like that, dude. How are you just gonna do that? I guess I can't complain. Like, I'm terrible at basketball myself. I'm not really much of a, of a sportsy kind of guy. I'm more of a more of an artsy kind of guy. I like I like books and games and and art rather than uh, uh, than, than like physical uh, sports and stuff. As as you can probably tell, considering how much I, I spent playing Warhammer, uh, I don't I don't think there are many <laughs> many like famous um, or just like anyone in basketball that know what Warhammer even is. Uh, surprisingly, though, like, Henry Cavill, I think, plays a lot of Total War Warhammer 2, which is nice. Uh, you know, we get a little bit of representation. That's always good to have. But, um, yeah, no, it's not It's not a very common thing, uh, for sure. So I guess I can't blame the Saigor too much for being terrible at throwing his rocks. I can't say I would be much better. All right, wonderful. Get out of here, Sigmarites. We don't want you here. Okay, and bam, there we go. Uh, Empire boys, you're done. You're done, so. You're just dead. Get erect. Wonderful. You can go ahead and heal up a little bit, and uh, you keep on moving along. Uh, Gorbel, uh, go ahead and upgrade your ma or your weapon strength. Weapon strength, always good on those boys. Upgrade Occam's Mind Razor. Oh, hello. We have some uh, lizardmen coming in to say hi. Might be trying to take back some of their land, and I don't, I don't think I agree with that. I'm not gonna let that happen uh, anytime soon. Direct. Okay. Ambush. Um. Okay. He's he's a little bit more wounded. We're a little bit more healed up. I think we can do this. Let's go ahead and ambush uh, High Elven Batman. Oh, 12 wins of magic? Gamble that, brother. Gamble that. Oh, let's go. Got it all the way up to 20. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see. Okay. Uh, now we can finally show off some of these um, these ogre mercenaries I've been talking so much about. In particular, uh, these uh, man-eaters with ogre pistols. Ah, oh, man-eaters. Very beautiful. Get some regular ogres in over here. Look at them. Beautiful lads. Wonderful lads. Um, love ogres. Super cool. Can't wait for uh, Ogre Kingdoms to be proper, properly in the game, man. Uh, with our full roster instead of just uh, these guys. That'll be super fun. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait, man. Uh, these man with ogre pistols are just so much fun. Definitely want to get in and shut down those Sisters of Averlorn as quickly as possible. Okay, have all these guys come around over here. Um, you guys over here. Harpies just like to tie stuff down. Okay. Okay, bring you guys down a little bit. And, uh... Just, like, start putting on the fire. Okay, yeah, Malagort, uh, he can fly now, which is pretty cool. He's no longer a scrub. He can, he, he's real flyboy hours now. Okay, 
Fuck it, get in there, boys. Oh, Malagord. No, 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 Get chase. Go, 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 go. Okay, man, he's with ogre pistols. They're getting, they're getting torn up by uh, Arcane Phoenix. Let's see if we can get these guys going. Skyhawks. Okay, that that, yeah, that 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 eagle messed us up pretty bad. Well, that that's the problem with being a flying unit, is that other flying units are going to really mess you up. And when you are have terrible stats, it's not gonna help. The so with uh, manis with ogre pistols are really good because they just have like really high damage pistols, and they can just shoot in and uh, do quite a bit of damage over time. It's it's super good. They're just super fun. Please just charge in. Bonk. Oh, I love the sound. Bonk, bonk. They basically kill a model with every shot because they have such high weapon strength. They're so they're so good, and they're decent in melee too. So, uh, you know, they have that going for them too. They're the silver helms. They're good against single entities. They're good against infantry. Uh, just just good all around. Just good all around. Uh, we got the regular ogres over here. They're doing good as well. Uh, regular ogres, super fun. These guys have dual weapons. No, these guys are just the regular single weapon. Yeah. Oh, uh, the dual weapons are the other variants. Yeah, they're getting in there. Not what you want to be fighting, man. It's just a regular peasanty spearman. Yeah. Yeah. Pop down another flock of doom. Uh, get these guys going in. Damn, that Arcane Phoenix, man. It's just going good. My cat is being a bitch. Uh, currently, if you can hear my door, I apologize. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, cats, man, they they they, they knock. I, I have like a little thing on my door. It, it's kind of like just to try and tell uh, people that I'm busy. It doesn't work most of the time. Uh, but uh, my cat uses it to knock on my door, and uh, you know, uh, he'll do it and then just not actually come in. You know, which is really great. I really love that. Ooh, Skyhawks, hello. These guys are cool. I love Altherion's units. Um, he's a really cool campaign as well. It's a, it's a little bit easy, but uh, it still has like a cool premise going on. Bonk, bonk. Oh, I love... Just look at that. How can you not love that? Bonk. And they, they're just like ignoring him. Just gonna like sit there, bonk, bonk, just decapitating models. Uh, good stuff. I just, I love that sound, too. Can't deny I love that sound. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, we can get into melee, too. I just wish these guys had, uh... Uh... Firewall moving. That would be super good. There we go. They're charging in. Just look how big ogres are, man. They're so big. Bonk. Yeah, these Skyhawks, they're wrecked. Beautiful. All that remains is uh, Aetherion himself. Pop down Feeling Foe. Okay, and he's broken. Beautiful. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. All right, and Aetherion, you done, son. Ooh, Slug Skin. Oh, Poison? What do I want to do? Oh, Poison on my Overpowered Chariot Hero? Oh, it's too tempting. It's too tempting to ignore. Beautiful. We've got the Mist Piercer trait as well. I don't think so. Um, so that's good. Oh, the elves. They're they're dying off, man. We're getting them. Icons of vilification. Ooh, the Knight's Griffin. The Crowfather dispatches a minion to lead the war herd across the beast paths to to the doomed Grunberg. 
Oh, that's a pretty good uh, little thing for him. Go ahead, go into our little encampment stance here.